Hey everybody, it's Lindsay with Organically Designed and today is kind of like an impromptu video. I haven't really planned this, but it just kind of came to me today. Um, I have had some people like tell me, okay, like how do you keep it all organized, you know? Um, so I thought that even though my thoughts may not be organized today, that I would kind of go over how I kind of manage my family of five and um, how I do it in our household. So we are a blended family of five. My husband has two daughters from a previous relationship. The oldest is 13, almost 14. The younger is 11. And then we have ours baby who is three years old. And so with that, we haven't really had the activities outside of school that we normally would. And then of course, you know, the school year just looks so different over the last year. But even then, just the amount of extra things that you need to do for following up with kids and things like that is just kind of can be overwhelming. I also work full time. My husband works full time. He works full time during the day. Um, he's a superintendent for a construction company. I am a juvenile justice officer for a local county. And um, so I work third shift. I'm like, the nighttime mama there and so um I have a weird sleep schedule so normally when my kids were in virtual school I was sleeping and kind of following up more like later in the evening around the time that my husband would get home so um but keeping everything manageable with so many different schedules and still having some activities to do and then also, um, there's a few of us that go to therapy. We do have some mental illness in the family, some severe, some mild. So we kind of, um, it's always something going on. So I wanted to kind of go over kind of just how I keep things like manageable here at the house. I have multiple like planners slash calendars. So, um, one of my favorite things is I do have like a little command center in, um, our kitchen and it's a bulletin board and a, um, like a, a two rack bin that hangs on the wall for bills to pay and things to be filed. And then on that bulletin board, I keep kind of like the house rules and the family calendar. So the family calendar is kind of color coded depending on who it's for. That's also where I put our meals for each day so that people don't have to keep asking me what's for dinner. So um, I'll be sure to try to insert a picture into this of that little command center but <clears throat> i'm on the last month right now but this is kind of just kind of like a breakdown of how i do it so this includes appointments and things like that so each family member has a color if there's like a special bill that's due that's normally in green because money and then i kind of like to plan out a whole month's worth of meals in advance so that um, I can kind of do my grocery shopping list like every couple weeks is normally how I do it. I do Walmart pickup. Um, I just find I spend less money if I'm ordering it online. Then when I go in the store and I find other little things. Um, so that's what I do. And then Sam's Club and things for meats and such. So yeah, I love these. I always get these from Target, I like the spiral ones. I can tear them off if I want to and flip them over. They fit perfectly on the bulletin board. And the bulletin board I got, like I said, I'm gonna try to insert that on here as well. And I got that from Target as well. And I think the metal bins I had gotten years ago from I think like Hobby Lobby, I believe. So, um, 
yes but I'm gonna try to insert a picture there so I'm still learning like the editing game so um the other calendar that I have is I have a calendar just for like my social media content and YouTube content and even though I'm still new like I knew that I wanted to keep myself like on a really like strict schedule so I kind of try to do like a couple weeks planning at a time if not longer especially for my Instagram and Facebook posts I do a lot of challenges on there engagements on there again I'm still new to all of this so it's still like slowly evolving there's not a lot of engagement yet but um you know what I have wanted to do something along the lines of bringing things that make people happy bringing things that help people save money and organizing and cleaning are like that's always been my thing and so I always wanted to bring things like that and even if it reaches just a few people and helps a few people like that alone makes me happy so that's kind of like what um everything's about so I kind of keep a little calendar and I keep that in here I'm I use my dining room as my office um so we can still eat in here if we wanted to we do a lot of crafting in here and I do a lot of my projects in here and then I have like my office and I'll try to either do like kind of like a walkthrough or something or insert a picture so we'll kind of see Oops. loud cars outside so this is kind of like my office calendar this is kind of like projects that I'm working on like larger projects and then I have kind of like the day-to-day -day stuff and then I use these little post-it notes the mini ones for just some extra things that if I can fit it in that day, great, but if I can't, I'll move it around to another day. So it's just normally like little small crafts and things. Um, if you aren't following me on Instagram or Facebook, make sure to give me a follow. It's on Instagram, it's organically underscore designed underscore, and um, on Facebook, it's organically designed, and that's where I post a lot of like my small crafts. I don't do a ton of crafts, on YouTube as of right now I kind of do a lot of like the shopping stuff that goes towards my organization videos or cleaning videos and things like that so like I said I'm still new I'm still a baby at all of that so and if you hear a lot of background noise it is pouring down rain outside right now but I love it um so I don't think that I would have ever gotten into the YouTube thing. I never, I was like, no one wants to hear me talk, but um, you never know. So I posted a video a few months ago on my Facebook page, just talking about something that I was working on in my closet. I'm st like I said, I was still building my little social media and it's I'm still building it now and my husband's like oh you should just try it and just see and I'm in my 30s um I've always wanted my own organizing company I've always wanted to help people create a lifestyle that not only is efficient and functional but is organic to them hence why um I named it organically designed it's all about what comes natural to you in the organizing game so that's what's so important to me is I want to make sure that you don't need to copy what I'm doing you don't need to copy what someone else is doing there are ways to like do things that are going to encompass you completely and you're still going to be able to be that organized person even if that's something that's like not your natural so um there's a way to do it my younger sister it has add and so organizing for her if she can't see it she's not gonna like touch it or anything so organizing in clear bins is something that is going to go along easier for her and then on top of that, she's not going to micro organize, she's going to macro organize. So her categories are going to be very broad. Whereas I am super like, I like everything pretty much tucked away. My office is just a little different because it's my creative space. 
but in the rest of my home um i might have to do like a walkthrough sometime but in the rest of my home everything's very like tucked away in the main areas of the house even in my son's room not so much my daughter's rooms because that's kind of like their creative space but um if i ever did like a home walkthrough you'll really see that everything's kind of like tucked away in a bin that you can't really see through or makes it hard to see through and i kind of like micro organize i like everything in very small categories i like knowing okay this is where this is exactly um not like this is a whole thing of like t like i don't know party supplies or something like even in my party supply bin like things are broken down into sections and bags so that's just how i am but everyone organizes differently um what makes them feel calm um is going to be different and like i feel like your home should be like your sanctuary and whenever you have a lot of clutter and stuff like you just don't feel that peace so anyway so those are the calendars that i use i'm gonna go off on tangents i'm i'm just one of those people that goes off on tangents the other thing that i absolutely love and i don't do any sort of like special planners i i have ordered a couple planners before and but i'm really weird like i have to i have to touch it I have to touch it. I have to see it in person. It's the same thing pretty much with clothing too. Like I, I don't really order a lot of clothing online either. Like I have, I have to put my hands on it. Like I have to feel it. I got to hold it up to me. I need to touch it. Um, and so I'm the same way with my planners. And so I normally always like my wall calendars. I get all my planners from Target as well. And I do like, um, you'll notice I like print inspiration stuff and tape it in here and then I've said before like I use a ton of stickers and I just like little tiny things to write in I I fill up like almost every day I have things filled up my sticky notes are kind of things I move around a lot um things I write in there are more like appointments and things I have to do that day but my sticky notes are one of those things, okay, like I need to move that around because I hate erasing stuff. Um, but I do, ooh, might be losing power. I do um, definitely like use a pencil for the most part. But yeah, I talked about like the Lisa Frank stickers. I like to just put things in here that just make me like really, really happy. Um, this is also like my personal planner and it's smaller i like the smaller size i like the bound ones i feel like the spiral ones never last me the full year and i always have to end up getting another one um but it's a combination planner so it has a lot of personal stuff in it and it has a my um social media and content stuff in it and then also has all the family stuff in it so it's kind of like everything goes in here first so as I'm making appointments, I look at this first. What do I have to do that day? Can I make an appointment for that day? And then from there, I put it up onto those family calendars or my organically designed calendar so it can kind of like break things down. So um, other thing that I do like that I keep in these little bins, I got these from Target, is I keep my planner stickers in a bag and and my special pens and sticky notes and things so i have like color coded pens in here sharpies white out big erasers that i keep in here and then also i had found these and a ton of people haul these at the dollar tree these um happy planner sticker books that had a crap ton of stickers in it so i keep these in here and then of course whichever planner stickers i'm using again these are from the dollar tree as well i absolutely love these um and i sticker some things ahead but what i like is you can stick a ton of stuff in these so i like to have these so that if i want to go like watch youtube or watch one of my shows on the couch i can just grab my little bag and then say that i'm going to like a long appointment for my kids 
um, I can sit out in the lobby. So I just throw this in my purse and I can work on it. The other little bag, same thing, same color, is I keep some notebooks in here. So I keep kind of like a list pad in here. And then I keep this. This is kind of where I break down like kind of my creative stuff. So this is kind of like, okay, so I'm doing, say if I'm doing a challenge on Facebook and um, Instagram for decluttering, which I did recently, um, I'll kind of like break it all down, what I want to talk about, say in a video or um, a posting or something like that. And then the cool thing about this is um i have like a big notebook that has like future plans in it and then like an overall look to it let me grab oh it's right here so i just i'm old school i'm paper pencil person so i keep a notebook as well and that kind of has like video ideas in here for per month and then it kind of like lays out what i want to do i try to like kind of theme stuff out as far as um each month so I can kind of like come up with like video ideas that will kind of like match with the content that I'm doing on my Instagram and Facebook um so I, I love categories so that's my thing and then kind of I keep a running list of posts and things and this notebook does fit inside of this so if this is something that I want to take with me to work on, say I'm brainstorming some ideas, I'm brainstorming a schedule, I can just throw this in my bag and go as well. So I kind of like keep these like really handy for myself. Um, so that's kind of like what I do to plan and a little bit about like how I am. I'm definitely like little small categories and branching out from there um so yeah i don't do any of the fancy stuff i know a lot of people like buy the like fancy planners the ones you put together yourself i am just not that person again i like my basic bound planner that i can just fill with stickers and inspiration and everything's already dated for me and I can kind of just add in my own little personal touch of stuff that just like makes me happy. Um, seeing little stickers and um, so I don't have to do all the extra stuff. But I do use a daily planner because some days are like really crazy. Like let's just look at some stuff, some past things. So I do have a lot in here. So yeah. Um, look at this, just stuff, stuff, stuff. And that's how I keep it. I even, you know, always keep a little piece of paper in here too, kind of like a shopping list. So as I think about stuff, I like jot it down real quick. And that way I can put it into whatever notebook it goes into later. So I always have like right now, like I have a little shopping list in here and i just kind of like add to it as i go for like upcoming events we're doing like a little fourth of july barbecue the father's day is coming up things like that and then stuff that i'm working on with my therapist um challenging me to come up with a list of things that i want and so kind of like ongoing lists that i'm working on i kind of just stick them on my planner and work on those and then um Kind of go through it like i go through it every day but then like i'll redo them for the fall for the next week so i have a new sheet of paper that i work on so i'm i am i'm a big list person i believe in like checklists and things like that i think it can keep you like super on task um if you're not someone that is good about keeping like a list that's like hidden and put away I, I keep a list on my fridge as well um, because my husband has to kind of like see a list in order to follow one. So I keep a magnetic list on the fridge and um, that way we can kind of like write down things that we need or if he's needing 
to like just have a list for like something he's working on he can drop some stuff down and tear the piece of paper off and take it with him so it's just I keep things kind of like around because each person in my family is very different where my middle daughter she is very much like me when it comes to organizing she does okay with a planner but she's still young but my older daughter does not do well with the planner whatsoever so i actually got her those like weekly ones from dollar tree that you can kind of tear off so those um she actually does better with because she doesn't have to commit to such a big bulky book she only has to commit to one week at a time um my husband on the other hand does not do well with a planner he sticks to my fa the family calendar for his like reminders and things and then um yeah he'll write he has like a little spiral notebook he keeps with him as well in his work truck to kind of like keep things organized so everyone's kind of like i mean everyone's different so you're gonna do things that aren't gonna work for one person but will work for another person so that's why I have like so many different ways that I do it. I used to only do a personal planner because I didn't have a family. But then when I moved in with my husband back in 2016 um, with his two girls, I immediately took on the mother role um, because their mother is not really part of the picture. And so... Um, that meant like I went from only in my schedule to four people's schedules and having to do appointments and running them around from one activity to the other so um anyway like if anybody else has like you know ever wants to talk about like stepmomming stuff too like if that interests anybody like y'all comment below and let me know I have been through some challenges. Um, step parenting is definitely not for the faint at heart. It can be extremely difficult sometimes, like not only on your family as a whole, but just like on you mentally and emotionally is extremely hard. Um, I am a bio mom as well. And uh, it's, to it's totally different. Like I, I, love all three of my kids but having to share them is sometimes hard especially when you know that um it's even though it's for like a very short period of time like a few hours normally it's just very like that is very challenging so especially when you're the one that's you know that does it but again like bio moms like also feel the same way when they give you know they're like sending their kids over to a stepmom that maybe they only see for a few hours or for the week weekend every other weekend or something that's so hard too like i can't i can't imagine if i feel the way that i do about my bonus kids like going away for like a few hours like i can't imagine like being like a bio mom especially to like a little kid oh my goodness like and you know going over there and you don't have it's so hard like co-parenting is so difficult for a lot of people and a lot of people do have it but um yeah it can be so 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 difficult we have tried so hard and it's just not something that is um in the at the moment like in the cards for us as far as co-parenting um, even though like that is something we definitely want for our kids, but I know this is like a tangent of t on top of like planning and things, but, um, I like that is like what challenges my schedule a lot too. So, um, yeah, so that's okay. So that's how I keep myself organized as far as my bags, my calendars, my planner. And then on top of that, like my kids are what drive me to continue to stay that organized person i have been super organized since i was really young so this is like very natural for me but it doesn't come very naturally to everybody and that's totally fine because there's always a way to figure out what in the organizing world is functional for each person so like i said in the beginning like what works for me may not work for you um 
I do multiple projects at a time and some people can't do but one at a time and that's fine. I organize my projects um, as you can see like behind me. I keep these and I've talked about these before. I love these baskets from the Dollar Tree but these are my project baskets as you can see right now. I don't I just finished up a few. I do have a couple projects that I'm working on, but they're kind of like, there's some spray painting projects. So they're of course not inside the house right now, but um, yeah, so I categorize them in bins and then this might get shaky. This is my ongoing projects and crafting equipment. <laughs> So let me, let me take y'all around and I'm just going to kind of like walk y'all through a few things that like, kind of like how I organize stuff just to get, I guess, get to know me a little bit. This may be like uber boring for people, but so that y'all can get to know me just a little bit more on here. So hold on. Okay. So this is kind of like where I keep like all my tools and ongoing projects and upcoming events and things. Um, so these, this wire shelving unit is an Amazon Basics and it's pretty small, nothing major, but I keep like all my tools in these. These are from like Dollar General. They're like the $5, five gallon bins. And then I love these stackable bins from Dollar Tree and then all my camera stuff. And then of course more, these are like more things like paint brushes, stains, paints. So I keep a bunch of tools. These are chopping boards um, that you get at the Dollar Tree. I use them to do a lot of my staining on. All I did was punch a hole in them and use those little rings you get in a pack. This is kind of like my flower bin. <laughs> so I have like my styrofoam and stuff ongoing projects i'm spray painting some stuff that's in the back here like the frames for them so and then then like the start of a giveaway bin more projects that i'm working on stuff i'm doing with my older two daughters um an idea i have for my channel and then i have like a haul video coming up for that stuff this is kind of like just random um baby shower stuff plus slash some wood things I'm working on my daughter's oldest daughter is turning 14 soon so that's like her party bin and then our 4th of July party bin and then some cork boards and organizers I always 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 keep little organizers on hand so you can see I have the new ones from Dollar Tree versus the old ones and then bulletin boards for my girls and then like this is more office stuff look more organizing bins i switch stuff out all the time and as i work on projects sometimes i need like subcategories and then some other stuff for some wreaths and other party things and um so yeah that's i mean it's boring but so this is how i kind of like keep my table back here in the office so those are kind of like my projects going on right now so nothing at the moment <laughs> Cause like I'm spray painting these, like I spray painted them white and I don't think I like them white. These are little eight by 10 frames from the Dollar Tree. I think I'm gonna go black. So that's just like boring stuff. And then magazines. So kind of like inspiration. I keep like an inspiration um, composition book that kind of helps me with some crafting ideas or little decor things that I want to do and then I'm playing around with this I posted a video the other day with this on there um just for fourth of July kind of get some greenery in here these are little acrylic bins from Dollar Tree just playing around with it see if I like it if not I mean I'll change it up but red white and blue so but yeah and those, I did a video on those themed travel kits for some family. And then that's where I was sitting with all my planner stuff. 
And then these bins right here are another, they're not really a project. This is for like the boys at work. When they go home, I keep some hygiene kits, um, socks, underwear, and t-shirts on hand in various sizes when I find them, especially on clearance. Um, I keep those on the hand so that I can toss them in their boxes for when they go home. And then this is kind of like my desk. There's nothing really kind of like tucked away over here, but I do keep it really neat and tidy. Okay, so this is kind of my command center. As you can see, my calendars aren't hanging up because they're back there on the table. But, um, signs from Hobby Lobby. But I keep our house rules. I have open and closed signs on my daughter's, outside my daughter's rooms. Um, so that's just explaining that. That's where my calendar goes. And then we do little artwork there. It's normally my son's because he likes to help hang it up. And then this is like that metal bin I was telling you about. I used to have labels in it, but I kind of like it without the labels. But the top one has like folders for like some ongoing things that we're working on around the house. But the rest of it is like stuff we need to pay. And then the bottom is, of course, things that um, we've paid or that need to be filed. So I even put like artwork in here that I had hanging up on this because then I file it in memory boxes and then I always keep my little timers up here for my section cleaning I recently post a video about that and I'll probably like that was on my Facebook page but I'm probably going to do something similar on YouTube but I keep a couple timers for that for my section cleaning and daily tidy ups and then my kids can use them as well but that is my little mini command center so and then I mean I'm already in here so I am watching um, Anna so from only in my dreams right now her little haul video this is my living room of course it's not like perfectly clean but I keep like I said I keep everything pretty tucked away changed out my flowers for 4th of July those are from um, Dollar Tree. And this is like our new favorite candles. The Better Homes and Garden, the Garden their citrus ones are so good. I was burning the uh, citrus and lava one or something. Yeah, in the dining room behind me earlier. So the whole downstairs smells like citrus. And then my little son's section. So. Those, by the way, if you like those, I used to use them in my garage, but now they're inside. Those are um, from the container store and they're actually like super inexpensive. And so we just keep it really super simple in the back of the living room because this is kind of like the kids section. Eventually it's going to be all changed up. And I went ahead and put up the star garland because it's fun. Nothing beautiful. My son's going to yank on it anyway. So, and that's how I kind of organize the rest of his toys. And I, of course, label everything. <laughs> I, like I said, I am a micro organizer and I like not being able to see things. But for those people who do, these are great to have like the wire baskets in because then you can, um, see what's in each thing but again i don't these are the dollar tree little shoe boxes these are my like newest favorite dollar tree organizers right now so but yeah just kind of like a mini walkthrough so we talked about just like some randomness just kind of getting on and just kind of like not really feeling like Today I just felt like, okay, I just want to get on and just talk about how I keep my shit together basically because with everything that everyone's going through right now and then just having kids on top of that and being able to manage everybody and then, I mean, even even working on top of that even if you're a stay-at-home mom like that's like if that's like the hardest job I feel like staying at home and um 
I mean, there are just so, so many things, like, as a parent that you're just, like, stacked. You feel is stacked up against you. And I just feel like if you can kind of, like, find, like, one thing that will help you manage, I feel like another thing will follow after that. And then you're like, oh, my gosh, this is so much easier. And then you're like okay well this is working so let me do this on top of it and then it gets to a point where you become so efficient in the way that you run things it becomes a habit it makes things so much easier for yourself because even though like i work on my planners plan my planner i work on it more than like i guess like the average person would doing a planner just because that's like one of my favorite things to do. I could sit for like hours and work on my planner and things. So it's, I, I love doing things months in advance and going through stuff and writing things down or writing little quotes down um, so that I can read them later on. But like life is hard right now and so this is just like a few little things that help me kind of keep my family, business, work, spouse, house, organized. And I really feel like that every person, even if they're not like a micro organizer like myself or someone who's like way like control freak again, like myself, like you're able to find that sweet spot. And it's all about just starting with something start with like just a small calendar and just plan out things and i'm gonna come on here and i think i'm gonna start doing kind of like just little videos about talking about life and talking about how we can organize our lives because i feel like until you can really get a hold on yourself and your family and scheduling that. Once you can get that, I feel like your house and um, all of those things that have to be done around the house will like fall into the, their sweet spot too. And then um, everything just starts to like just flow together like so much easier. I feel like even if we have like a hiccup day here or say like my kid, one of my kids like absolutely refuses to help out and do anything around the house. I know that I can do a quick tidy up, which I do every day. I can do it in 10 minutes. And even though my house may not be pristine, it's done. So I'm going to like, I'm definitely going to come back and talk about my section cleaning and my quick tidy ups because those things alone has helped me manage my household. But let me know what y'all think about planners. Are you more of a planner person? Are you more of a tear off week by week person, a calendar person, a multi-planner person like myself that has like two calendars and a planner um, and notebooks and things like that? Like how do you plan? So comment and let me know. Um, also, like just, just let me know about like what challenges you in life. Like what is, what do you feel like is your roadblock to becoming not, you don't have to be super organized, but, but becoming more efficient with your time, becoming more efficient for yourself. Because the thing is, you can plan all day for other people, but you have to put yourself in there somewhere and it has to work for you. You can't contort yourself into someone else's way of organizing because it's never going to continue. Like you're not gonna be able to manage it. You have to find something, an organizing system or a planning system that molds itself to you so y'all let me know like what are your challenges because i want to be able to kind of like branch off of some of these things based on like what y'all need what you're challenged with um and i love to like further discuss this i know that like i'm a tangent like all over the place person even though like i can 
kind of maintain all that so like I apologize for all my random tangents and things but yeah comment below let me know what y'all think let me know if you're a fellow step parent or a bio mom that's struggling with another step parent because co-parenting is freaking hard no matter what side you're on like I could totally understand even though like I don't have to co-parent on the bio sense like I co-parent on the bonus kid sense but like I can totally like sympathize with both sides completely and again like on top of that like your challenge what challenges you in the day-to-day -to, -day to keep like your shit together because let's be honest mom and dad's like it is freaking hard right now and kids like are kids like super ballsy now or what so y'all just let me know um, if you like things like this, these long like random tangents and stuff, or is this something that um, I need to kind of like put into smaller form because I am such a, a talker. But as always, stay organically you. I will talk to y'all in the next video. If you liked this one, make sure you hit the like button. And then also hit that subscribe button for more fun on organizing and hear all of my crazy random tangents that just like, you know, diarrhea out of my mouth.